Where are you going? You didn't even look. start the day on the bottom left because I don't know but it's Tuesday we're starting off a vlog welcome welcome back uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe share but um yeah I am in the in a grocery store that sells stuff like so I'm here for that and the coconut oil this is the coconut oil that I use in my hair just do a little haul I just have my mom I didn't normally I would pick this up in the this is not part of the haul in the um in the grocery store but this is the soy sauce that we normally get in Trinidad I'm not sure if it's even made in, made in Trinidad no it comes from Hong Kong but like normal soy sauce it is not as thick obviously I showed you guys like I saw her, like I got five bags two bags dropped off my mom this is called Sene Pod so if you ever need to do like a detox or a purge, this is what, not like a detox, this is a purge, like where it cleans out your intestines. This is what we use. Use, I don't want to say use it sparingly, but just know what you get yourself into. If you, I'd recommend having the next day off. That's one. Uh, if you take it that night, the next morning, you're probably going to wake up with a real belly walk. Um, and you'll be going all day. TMI, I know. Um, but I like this. I got three plantains. A plantain. <laughs> um, ooh, did I mess up my avocado? I got one avocado because I had intentions of going with Sam's Club. I don't think that's going to happen today. So I picked up one that was ripe just in case because I like to eat sweet, sweet potato fries and avocado avocado with uh, ketchup and pepper. <laughs> Tastes really, really good. What else did I get? Oh. oh, obviously the coconut oil. Oh, and a bag of curry. I don't even know if it's curry from Trinidad, but I just know like the one they sell in the grocery store. I mean, if y'all Caribbean, y'all know the curry they sell in the regular grocery store. It's just, it's just not it. But yeah, so this is, is it from Trinidad? I feel like, oh, it is. It's definitely from Trinidad, so curry. All right, so I'm about to head into Giant, get some peanuts. I think just need to unlock y'all. I am tripping. Okay, get some peanuts and a bag of apples, y'all know. I've gotten back into doing apples and peanut butter for dinner not because like i'm starving myself that's definitely not it but just because that's what i've been feeling for and haven't had it in about four or five days it's also a good protein snack um so i you know bdd be kicking in and helps me with in my mind my gains all right so quick little spin in here Let's get these. And I got these glasses on because I feel like I look well where I went. Let me wipe this off. Yo, know, why is the camera lens always dirty? Right? I thought it was a glare from the sun. But um where I went is obviously Caribbean. I don't live near the Caribbean community. I wanna be seen. And uh I just want nobody to recognize me. So I put on my glasses so I'm like, you know, hiding. I'm saying plain sight. So Almost like a good bag. The apples that I get. Oh, I almost picked up the wrong one again. No, it is the pink lady. It's the pink lady apples. I've been having to call my husband. No, it's the pink lady. It's sweet but then tangy because I don't like my fruits like too sweet. Just personal preference. And then I'm gonna get some planters, lightly salted nuts. The next day. Hey vlog. It is Wednesday. June 21st. Uh, your girl is done editing her video. I just gotta make a thumbnail. Um, I'm actually headed to, I think, I don't know if I told y'all yesterday. Yesterday I went to the dentist. It is what it is, right? You know, that's, I feel like it's a normal part of my routine until I get everything the way I need to get it. But I was at the dentist. Normally I thought I was gonna be there for like an hour. I was literally in this man's chair for two hours. Um, probably a little over two hours to be completely honest. And I can't really appreciate him for doing everything right. Um, where are you going? You didn't even look. Child, this man. 
he's coming out this way there's traffic coming this way and you didn't even look back this way and you were turning I was out here before you come on sir this guy is out here trying to collect money for a funeral you're Thank welcome. You, princess. No God problem. Bless you. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. I remember, right? I don't know where I was at. Oh, when I picked up, I don't normally do stuff like that. You know, I, I like people to get the wrong impression of me. But, um, oh, they just gave me chills. Um, when I picked up my cousin, uh, from a train station, like two, three vlogs at this point ago. And we were stopping and a guy was out there asking for money and she was like, you're gonna give him? I was like, yeah, I'll give him because like the way I was raised by my mom, I might not have a lot, but sometimes you have more than others and I'll give. Uh, sometimes I would buy food uh, for the person or people if they, if they really were hungry, which in turn costs you more than sometimes giving them money, but I also wanna make sure they use them for the right purposes. Um, but I say all that to say, like, even if they're using it for the wrong purposes, I know that I gave it with the with good intentions. So good to go. Came back with another day. I don't know if I've even started vlogging this week yet. It's just been like one of those weeks I've been like in a funk. Um, it's now Thursday. It's Friday. <laughs> I'll be getting these days wrong. Friday, June twenty third. So for this portion of the video, I just got out of Walmart. Sidebar. Um, if you're looking for a good vegan egg replacement. This is delicious. In my opinion, it tastes better than egg. It tastes like tastes like egg and cheese. So if you want to try something out, this I'm gonna be cooking. I got a lot of stuff that I gotta do today. I'm gonna be making mashed potatoes. I'm gonna show y'all how I do my vegan mashed potatoes. It's a hit every time. All I gotta say, don't come for me because I put a lot of butter. <laughs> Can't win them all. Um, but we are going to be unboxing a closure. I got a closure from. Kiwi Way Collections, you guys. Recall that I did the unboxing. If I can even open this up. I did the unboxing and I wasn't impressed with the one side being thinner than the other. I did not send her my video, but she saw it. Um, I reached out and ended up returning it. <laughs> Last week's vlog. This dog is barking. Oh, this dog know I got, I got business to handle. But uh, in last week's vlog, I immediately, when I opened that package and I saw that it was the wrong texture, I instantly regretted it. Uh, speaking of which, that hair company, she did offer to... Um, she, just, like, she almost insisted on me returning it, but because I, that's, let me get my cat in my thoughts. Because you guys have been with me for a really long time, you know that um, when it comes to hair quality, I haven't been having the best luck. And the minute I knew it was raw, I was like, all right, I'm not going to send this back. I'm going to keep it. It's not the right texture, but I have bundles that I can use this hair on. So for $135 to get a HD closure and the hair is raw, definitely not sending it back. So with all that said uh when i returned the closure she hadn't refunded it to me yet because she hadn't checked her p.o box it's, it's here we're unboxing it as we speak uh she hadn't checked her p.o box yet so she didn't realize that i returned it i said hey you know because it's raw hair and it's the texture that i need can i just pay the difference get hd because i knew the lace not to say it was going to be a problem it's regular lace regular lace always a little bit more to blend um but i was like you know what let me just stick with you because I know it's the right, I know it's, when I tell you I know it's the right texture. We appreciate a hair company that is all about making sure you get what you're supposed to get. The way she approaches things on her YouTube, I was like, this is definitely the hair company that I want to buy from. Uh, I, she sent me, I don't know if I've had this in there before, but it has all of their contact information. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> when you are out in these streets dealing with natural lighting, my windows are down. Um... This is her card. It has, she offers services as well. So she sells hair, but she also, oh, come on face, get out of it. She also has like, it seems like her own business. So I paid the difference. It was like 50 something dollars. And um, I got HD lace and I got two inches longer because, you know, it's to be on the safe side. She said she was gonna send me one that was a little bit thicker. Cause like I mentioned to you guys, she saw my video. Um, and not to say like it's biased, uh, obviously I got what you guys would normally get. Um, we gonna co-wash it, y'all. I was gonna say it's given the wrong texture. Um, again, you know, we gonna co-wash it and see what's going on. Cause y'all know I gotta, I gotta be certain. This is a long 18 inches. This is really given 20 inches. It's definitely given 20 inches. But back to what I was saying. 
we have to appreciate a hair company that's accountable like she hadn't shipped it out she's like my assistant normally does it she wasn't feeling well i was like oh you know no worries no rush please feel better because i know how it is when you're not feeling well um and i wasn't expecting to get this until next week so for her to push through and get it shipped out that day and for me to have it two days later and when i say that day i mean like late at night so um, I really appreciate that. Customer service, I will say this to you guys until I'm blue in the face. If you've been on my channel, then you know this is the pet peeve of mine. It doesn't have to be the response I'm looking for. But as a customer, I don't want to feel like I'm ignored when I'm spending my money with your business because there's other places I can go spend my money. So I really appreciate that interaction. So it is raw Indian um, wavy, 18 inches. Um, it's definitely an HD lace. Neither here nor there when it comes to H.E. Lace. It is or it isn't for me. Uh, I'm definitely going to co-wash this. And then I'll come back to you guys and we will see how it turns out. Um, it probably was brushed out. But it's definitely already looking a little bit fuller. It's really long. Oh, this is really long. This is giving more than 18 inches. So don't look at the hair. It smells really good too. Don't look at the hair in its present state. Let's co-wash it. Um, we can do our little test again and just see, you know, if it's what it's supposed to be honey all right we gonna i'm gonna show you a little video i ain't got no if ends or buts that it's gonna be raw because it was raw the first time that's how i bought it i gotta go in the all right this is the mixture <laughs> baking soda dawn if you ain't tried yet to te test out your raw hair to see if it's really raw definitely do it uh it yields amazing results i'll tell you one of the things that's a little bit concerning right and i saw it when i initially unboxed it but I try to give everything the benefit of the doubt. See how it's like tangled at the roots? My concern is that <laughs> the cuticles are not aligned. But we gonna do this uh this wash. I think the hair is the raw. Thing, like I said her customer service is amazing. Uh none of that is gonna stop me from buying from her company. But let's just see what this texture is looking like. Cause right after an hour and a half, what is crystal clear? And the curls, they showed up. Oh. The curls, they showed up. It's still a little damp, but look how pretty the curls are. Now, what I will say is, it's giving the wrong texture. <laughs> it's definitely giving Indian curly, not Indian wavy. But it's so pretty. And then look how well made. Let's focus. How well made this closure is. This is the hair fully dried this is some beautiful hair and we already know it's indian and it's raw i'm telling y'all y'all gotta y'all gotta check her out this is it this is it baby it is so pretty and so silky oh, i love hair look at that look at that luster oh. starting off with freshly boiled potatoes i make a lot because i only cook ever so often I have this potato masher, which is nice because it makes things easy. But what I like is I like my potatoes finely mashed. So I'll do this to get rid of a lot of like the big stuff. And then I'll go in with a fork and just like fine tune it. I can get a little tired, but sometimes you got to sacrifice to get the best results. And a fork, it just really won't be the best thing to do it. Now, I already told y'all, don't come for me about the amount of butter I'm putting in here. And uh, for it to be vegan, unless you want your potato to taste like potato crumbs, you need a lot of butter to have it smooth. And the butter I'm using, in case anyone's wondering, is Smart Balance. Does not contain any dairy. So we'll start with this. It's definitely giving like it needs more butter. So we're going to add in two more decent sized spoons. I never said the mashed potatoes were going to be healthy. <laughs> Just saying. When I first started making mashed potatoes for my husband, so we're going to be using some ketchup. He was like, ketchup? Yes. Don't bring me no Casper looking mashed potatoes. We're not doing that. Need a little bit of color and it adds a little bit of flavor. If y'all have <laughs> tried any of the stuff I've made here on my channel, then y'all know it's a hit. See how the butter, like the, not the butter, see how the potatoes are just like smooth now? Yeah, butter. No one need milk for mashed potatoes and it tastes just as good, if not better. So this is the Italian seasoning. I love this stuff. I feel as though it has enough spices. It also, you know, obviously it adds flavor. I'm telling y'all it tastes good already. 
Now you can add paprika. You don't have to, but it helps. And then if y'all know me, y'all should already know what's next. Steak rub. Get in on these ingredients. Salt, garlic, spices, black pepper, red pepper, onion, sunflower, natural flavor. And it also contains paprika, but it's a nice mix of seasonings. You don't have to grind it up, but I found that when you do, the flavors get into the food a little bit better. So it's just my preference. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I make vegan, creamy mashed potatoes.